All right, so once again, I want my ashes to go to Wallace, Idaho when I'm gone. And um, earlier today, there's a big market pullback, and I'm really excited about that, taking advantage of it. And it reminds me of a philosophy. So I often feel that my time to uh, uh, accumulate various investments has ended. You know, this is the big uh, run-up. And then I'm pleasantly surprised by yet another buying opportunity in silver or whatever. And so, uh, unfortunately, a lot of people don't seem to have that mentality, whether it's with investments or with other aspects of life, right? People get, uh, well, right now, today, as I speak, a lot of silver stackers may be disheartened uh, by the price of silver. Some may even throw in the towel. Uh, others may uh, be so disheartened that they don't fail to take advantage of the opportunity. And uh, see, we don't seem to hold that kind of mentality with toilet paper, right? So back in 2020, you might have gotten price gouged on toilet paper. Maybe you paid $20 a box and you see a discount at your local grocery store. So you don't get disheartened by that. You just buy more, right? But for silver, uh, it doesn't seem to work that way. I, I never understood why. See, um, when I go to the store and I see, uh, I'm, I'm doing an intermittent fast now for the hunger strike, but before I began intermittent fasting many years ago, I used to love a lot of baking chocolate. I still eat baking chocolate, but I'm not crazy about it like I was two, three years ago. But I would see my favorite baking chocolate uh, go on fire sale and, um, you know, to do what a lot of silver stackers were doing would be like, oh my God, you know, um, chocolate prices fell by, you know, a dollar a box today. I've eaten 10,000 boxes. Oh my God, I just lost $10,000 out of my body in some way, right? Some kind of body equity, right? Can you imagine how dumb it would be to say that? Right? I got to say that next time chocolate prices fall at the store. Go up to the store associate. <gasps> I overpaid my $10,000 over the past few years, right? See what her reaction is and then I can explain, you know, this is how a, your in, uh, retirement investments work, right? I got to do that sometime and record the reaction uh, because that's how a lot of people behave, unfortunately. But there is another place in life where you think your opportunities are done and then another one comes along. Your relationships with, uh, yes, especially romantic relationships. So um, two years ago at the beginning of the pandemic, I uh, obviously had to leave my girlfriend because she lived with uh, elderly uh, family members. And I thought my life was done. I really did. I came home and I wrote, I started writing the number one AI for a game of backgammon. I named it Corona Gammon. Uh, at the time, I was only going to uh, write Corona Gammon until two, three weeks had passed that so we were going to lock down. Go right back to where things, where we left off, right, with my girlfriend. But I liked the Corona game so much and I loved my uh, freedom so much because at the, you got to remember at the time I had just begun writing... Uh, uh, I, I, uh, I just begun the intermittent fasting and I really needed my space in order to not have um, the wrong uh, social interactions while I'm trying to do a fast. And I really loved it. I also loved going on the trail in Kirkland and actually finishing the trail from one end to another. I used to get so many food cravings. There's no way I would have done that. I also loved uh, just being able to speak up for myself and for other people who were happily single. And so that was that. Now, I also thought my uh, uh, solo sexual relationship with myself was over when I had gone out. So after we started relaxing some of the pandemic rules, I had a favorite restaurant and um, there was a girl who was also frequenting that place and, that's, uh, and I met her through that restaurant. I thought, Oh my god, my time is with Corona Gammon, with the trail, with the fasting, it was all done. And I talked to her about fasting, and to my surprise, she was very accepting of that. And then we parted ways because of some disagreements we had over uh, lifestyle choice. And I thought, oh my god, my life is over. Now, during the time the two of us were together, I took up bowling, and after we broke up, my bowling score really exploded, right? During the time we were together, I was regularly bowling 130, 140. After we broke up was when I first crossed the 200 threshold, and I would see, I would say on a good night of bowling, I'll probably see a 200-something, 
uh, every uh, uh, at, at, at every night, and um, that was good, right? And then I went to I moved out to Phoenix. Now, this past month, gas prices um, hit a historical high. They're kind of retreating from that now. And I remember when they first hit four something because four is a very unlucky number in Chinese. Uh, the number four sounds like death. You see, four, five, and six are all unlucky numbers for me. Four, because it sounds like death. Five, because it means to procrastinate, right? So when I was a kid, my mom would come wake me up, and I would ask for five more minutes. In Chinese, five is pronounced oo, and I would put five fingers up and go oo, and my brother learned to do that about waking up as well. So between my brother and I, five means to procrastinate, right? We need to... Uh, uh, wake up we need to do our homework Ooh, so right now i'm trying to delay this job interview going on because i want to uh, have time to make the decision and i would be talking to my family about it i would say i'm trying to ooh that uh, interview process right try to delay it out as much as possible right so five means to procrastinate and six means social distancing nowadays right so six means isolation for me right so I'll, I'll, I'll be joking that, you know, I, I, I've spent the last week, you know, in a six, right? Because I haven't been, I, I haven't been getting much work and, you know, it was spring break last week, you know, and uh, I just broke up with my girlfriend and, and right? So six, uh, I guess it could also mean a solo sexual relationship with myself, good or bad, right? So I, I, I watched as gas prices went from death to procrastination to social distancing, and I thought my life was over because I loved going to Wallace, Idaho when I would get a chance, right? Uh, every time I get two, three days, well, not maybe not Wallace, but at least to Ellensburg, where it's, it's a smaller town, people accept each other for who they are. And I thought that was over. But then I started writing a computer game. I started taking long-distance walks. And I also appreciate how um, people are driving a little bit more conservatively. I, I wish they would go a little further. I thought when gas prices hit death, I thought by the time they hit procrastinating, it would probably slow people down. It didn't. And then when it was procrastinating, I thought when it, when it hit social distancing, people better slow down. They haven't, but at least when I slow down on the road, people have been a little bit more accepting. I, I've been getting a lot less uh, horns and all that. A lot fewer middle fingers. People used to give me middle fingers when I would drive 55 on the freeway. Now I'm driving 45. I haven't run into that. So that's good. And I uh, just want to point out that the next time you think your days of stacking silver are over, the next time you think your days in a happy relationship are over, they're not. The next time you think your days on Earth are over, you'll probably go to a better place. And I hope my ashes get scattered in Wallace, Idaho. Thanks for watching.